In part 16, we saw a brief introduction to centers of gravity and some ideas on how to influence the opponent's choices. Now, we'll look at the most complex and dynamic center, all those other people. We'll start with our friend, the point of view. Here, his physical orientation takes in the far goal and the coach, and he understands the meaning of both. Now, we'll introduce a person into his visual field. At this point, the person is available to perception, but lacks meaning. It's an entity without an identity. The first step in establishing identity is to discern friend or foe. Next, which team has possession of the ball? This frames the basic role relationships amongst the players. Following this is velocity and proximity. Generally, the closer and more active other people are, the greater influence they have on the observer. Since this video looks at other people as a center of gravity, we need to consider their relative value. In real life, any group of people can be divided into a pecking order in relation to a task. Soccer is no different. We'll start with four players. No organization, no ball, no opponents, no objectives, no need for a leader. Everyone's relative value is the same. Now organize them for 4v4. The structure will suit some more than others and influence their value relationship. Some will rise, some fall, some will stay the same. We've already looked at ball possession and what that means in terms of a player's task. A player's value can rise or fall dramatically with this change in their job description. The final element we'll consider in a player's relative value is what happens when they interact with different people. Sometimes the mix works well and value increases. Sometimes it doesn't. The concept of relative value is a high-level abstract notion that involves the dynamic, nested and hierarchical relationships from part four. It is not isolated in player value alone, but permeates every object and location on the field. It is the ghost in the machine that drives and rewards the search for attention. We'll develop this idea when we look at organic systems. Say me.